Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a really easy sheer top. I know you guys absolutely love my sheared videos and I want to make something a bit different today. So it's going to be a sheer top with a cute little peplum at the bottom and then really cute tie straps on the shoulders. So it's going to be really easy and simple to make. So if you've never tried shearing before, I am going to break down exactly how you can make this at home. So I have this really cute gingham fabric. This is a cotton and I absolutely love the shade of this. I think it's really cute and chic but you're basically going to want to use a cotton or a linen or a viscose to make this top and that's because it'll just make it so much easier to sew but once you have your fabric it's time to make a really rough pattern so what you're going to do to make this top is you're basically going to wrap a measuring tape around your bust at the widest point and then take that number and times that by 1.5 so in my case my bust is 33 inches and if I times that by 1.5, that gives me around 49.5 inches. So that's going to be the width. And then to calculate the length of the top, you kind of want to figure out how you want the top to sit on you. I've personally cut out a rectangle that is 14.5 inches long. And that just means it's going to create a really cute peplum detail at the bottom of the top. So my rectangle measures 50 inches by 14.5 inches. So you're gonna to wanna to cut out one of those and then to make the straps, this is a completely personal preference, but what you wanna do is basically cut out four rectangles. I made mine 14 inches by two inches and that's just because I want them to be quite long so I can tie them really nicely. I find a strap that's two inches wide gives me a really nice finished effect. So you'll need four rectangles for the straps and one big rectangle for the top. So as you can see, this is the top that I've cut out. This is the big rectangle. As you can see, it really is really, really long. And that's exactly what we want because when we do the shearing, it's gonna gather it to our bust. The first thing we want to do is take the top edge of the fabric and we're going to hem it. So what that means is we're gonna take the top edge and fold it over by one centimeter. And then we're gonna fold it over again by one centimeter. And then we're gonna press that all along and stitch it in place. You wanna make sure as well, you're folding it towards the wrong side of the fabric. So I've just pressed and hemmed the top section of the top. This is what it looks like from the right side. And then the wrong side looks like this. Now that we've done that across the whole section of the top, we're gonna to focus on the shearing. So if you've never tried shearing before, what you're gonna need for this step is some shearing elastic. This is what it basically looks like. And it's really stretchy when you pull it and that's what we need to create that detail. So when you're using shearing elastic, you wanna use a normal thread in the top of your machine, but in the bottom of your machine, you use elastic thread in the bobbin. You basically want to wind the bobbin by hand and literally wrap it around manually instead of using the machine. And when you're doing it, I like to apply a tiny bit of pressure as I'm doing it, but not too tight that it starts to feel really tight in the bobbin. So once you have your bobbin wound, you're gonna put it in your machine and use a matching thread color in the top of your machine. So I have my fabric in front of me and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna figure out how many lines of shearing we want to sew on the top. You always want the right side of the fabric facing up because we're gonna put it through the machine facing this way. So when you're sewing shearing, you basically want to sew lines all along the width of the fabric. It does take some time, but that's what's gonna gather it and elasticate it. And the easiest way I find to do this is I choose gingham fabric because it already has lines for us to follow. I personally don't like how big the gap is between each line. So I'm actually gonna take a dissolvable pen and a ruler and mark lines in between each line. And depending on how many lines of shearing you want, you're gonna to wanna to mark this on your fabric. I'm thinking of sewing around 14 lines of shearing, but I'm gonna mark that on my fabric and show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite pens. It's this flexible, erasable pen, and it literally vanishes on fabric once you apply steam and heat. So I've just used that pen and marked lines across the whole section of the fabric. Let me show you what that looks like up close. So this is what that looks like. 
I've literally drawn a line across the whole edge of the fabric. So in total, I've marked six lines and then I'm actually using the gingham line as a line as well, but because it's already marked, I'm not marking that. So I'm gonna sew at one centimeter intervals all the way down up until the point where I stopped, which I think is about, so the length of the section that I'm shearing is about five inches long. And then we're gonna do that all the way along the entire fabric. It definitely takes some time, but it's a really fun process if you just enjoy the journey. So as you can see, this has already started to shear. I've just taken it off the machine just to show you what the first two rows look like. I would normally keep going, but I'm just showing you. So it's already shearing really nicely across the entire edge. This is what it looks like from the right side. And then the wrong side looks like this. This is where you can actually see the shearing elastic do its thing. I'm gonna repeat that step now across all the other lines and then show you what that looks like. So I've just finished sewing the shearing detail and it looks so, so cute. Let me show you what that looks like. So as you can see, it really has gathered the fabric so much. This is the top section and then the bottom you can see is definitely wider. And that just means the shearing worked really well. This is what the shearing looks like from the right side of the fabric. And then the wrong side looks like that. And that's where you can see all the elastic. I think that took me around 45 minutes to sew 15 lines of shearing and I really like the detail when they are really close together. I think it makes it look really professional. So to make this even more fitted to our body, what I'm gonna do is take this to the ironing board and I'm gonna put the iron on top and steam the fabric and that'll just make it even more shrinked. And that will also get rid of the lines that we drew with that special pen and it's just gonna help it really shrink the fabric. So I'm not sure if you could tell once I steamed it, it really did shrink the fabric as I was doing it, but this is the final length of the top. As you can see, it's really stretchy and that's exactly what we want in a sheer top. And I'm liking the length of the peplum too. I was actually gonna hem this at the beginning, the bottom of the top, but I wanted to make sure I was happy with the length after it's been sheared. And I do really like how this has turned out. I think this sort of design works really well with gingham fabric too. I think it just looks so adorable. And honestly, having those really small gaps between the shearing creates such a nice professional finish. So what I'm gonna do now is actually fold the top in half with the right sides together. So that means the elastic is facing out. And what I'm gonna do is basically just sew that with a one centimeter seam allowance. And just make sure when you're sewing the seam, you're actually sewing over the elastic so there isn't any extra fabric hanging over the edge. So I'm gonna sew that with a normal stitch on my sewing machine and then overlock the edge for a nice clean finish. But I love how cute it's looking. It actually looks like a child's top, but I promise when you actually stretch it, it will fit you really nicely. So I've just sewn the side seam and this is what it looks like. It's looking so, so cute. What I'm gonna do now is actually hem the bottom of the top and we're basically gonna do the exact same thing that we did for the top by folding it in by one centimeter and again by one centimeter towards the wrong side of the fabric and we're gonna sew that along the entire hem. So you could actually wear this top as it is and just wear it as a strapless top, but I'm gonna add cute tie straps on the shoulders. So I have four rectangles cut out for the straps and they measure 14 inches long and two inches wide. So we're gonna fold the strap in half with right sides together and we're gonna pin along one long side 
and one short side of the strap. So I've just sewn all four straps and this is what it looks like. As you can see, I've sewn the edge like that and then it goes all the way down and this edge is raw. So I'm just gonna use my loop turner to turn the strap right side out. So this is what the strap should look like from one end, it's nicely finished and then it's nicely turned out and this edge is raw. I'm going to do that for the three other straps and then also press it so it's nice and flat. So I've just sewn all four straps and they look like this, they're really really cute. What you're going to want to do now is actually try the top on and we're going to figure out where we want the straps to sit. This can be a really personal preference but I'm going to see where I want them to sit on me and then I'll show you how I attach the straps to the top. I just finished attaching the strap to the bodice and this is what it looks like. The top is now completely finished. Let's see what it looks like on. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this tutorial really helpful and easy for you to follow. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.